Well, good morning, everyone. Billiam from Billiam's Golden Tales here. Uh, this is part two of the China Creek gold panning. Um, see what happened yesterday is uh, <laughs> I had no space. I don't know how to work my phone very well. I figured it out. We got space. We're going to get some footage today. We're going to get some uh, really great shots of scenery. And I'm going to show you hopefully a bunch of stuff on this video. I won't be doing the history voiceover on this video. I'm going to wait till part three uh, when we're at home cleaning up all the material that we've brought. I have my buckets, shovel, trowel, spoon, hands, mouth, whatever, and my coffee. So uh, let's get out there and get some panning done. Just trying to figure out which side of the creek I want to go on to. And I'm probably going to go on the right side. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. little cabin or I'm not sure there's a uh, some sort of cement something cement wall I see a steel stainless steel tube right there there's holes in it and stuff I don't know uh, it's kind of strange and a big big deep crevice here that shoots off and goes down to the side here not too sure what this would have been but if it had anything to do with gold there's probably none left here and kind of does look like it Let's see if I can get back far enough here you got a big gully piles of rocks that side piles of rocks on this side maybe not too sure this isn't too old though. It's, uh, it's on a darn uh, cement floor. It's all kinds of cans. You know what this could have been? This could have been something to do with uh, logging? Uh, I don't know. See there's a plastic tube there with some plastic piping. Maybe it was diverting water somewhere. I'm not sure. Yeah, weird. You can't really see in there, but anyhow, it goes down a ways. Uh, we're almost at the spot where I want to check, so... Saw it on the old Google Earth. Now, I've I come up here before uh, with one of my viewers. Actually, years ago, his name is Chris. Hey, Chris, if you're watching this, hope you're doing well, buddy. It was good to see you the other day. But uh, him and I came up here. We went way up, though. Like really far up, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was such a cool day. I think we both had a really really good time. Uh, let's see here, looks like there's gravel's right in there. So maybe this will be a good spot to start. I uh, will just see it a little bit. Hey everyone. William here again. So I've kind of got set up here. I got my buckets and everything like that. Uh, one of the reasons why I chose this spot in particular is I'll, I'll take you for a pan around. There's really, really big boulders here. Um, like I was saying about that little gully over there, which is just behind us, everything seems to be stacked up by hand. And back in the day, that's what they did. So you would have a big gold rush. They would take everything big and leave all the, the tailings and rubble and all the stuff behind. And uh, and yeah, then, then I mean, here, I guess it would have been, um, we had Chinese workers, I believe, that were working the railroad in this area. And they came up and they basically just took all the last of the stuff. Now, it's hard to believe that they took everything. Like, I don't think everything's gone. I found gold in this creek before, not up here ever. Actually, I've never panned this spot. I've always wanted to. This is a spot that uh, I found on Google Earth didn't see the cabin obviously totally forgot this is I've already been out here but I've never panned here I've never even uh, 
thought about it so until recently so here we are this is a really good spot like i said i'm gonna do a little 360 for you you can check it out um i'm gonna do a lot of time lapse stuff only because this creek behind me here is so loud i'm not even sure if you can hear me right now um obviously if, if it's all screwed up i'm gonna do a voiceover about it um so yeah let me take you for a little uh, look look see around okay That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh man. Look at that. Love it. Glad they're still standing. Sort of. That's the uh, root base. Oof. Hopefully we don't, don't have a big windstorm when I'm underneath it. Because I'm pretty sure there might be gold in there. So we'll check that. There is, yeah, this is looking down the creek. That's that little cabin. And and we're back. Cool. So today I got my super sluice. I also brought my other little pan in case I find anything. Uh, clean it up a little better, transfer it over, keep it, keep the production going. couple really really small pieces. I'm just gonna add it to my other pan and just keep 
going? Well, like a true champion of idiots, I went all the way up the creek. I guess you can already, we already know where the story is going. You see that right there. Stupid little thing that we always need. All the way up the creek and uh, couldn't find it. Searched there for a while and had to come all the way back down. But I'm not giving up. We're going right back out to the creek. See you in a bit. All right, we're back. Uh, I'm going to work on this little bank here. Try and dig into this all through there. It is an inside bend, There's some big rocks, but the fact that it's way in there, that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to give her a go. If I had uh, power like Samson, I'd move that sucker right there. Dig under that. Guaranteed that's not a hand stack. That's two Volkswagens right there. <laughs> I think I'm going to sign off here. It's been a pretty good day. I mean, it's a few hours, four hours out here, I guess. Four hours now. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just fill up a couple of buckets full of material to take them home. Uh, hoping, uh, yeah, for video part three, gold panning China Creek. We're going to wash everything out, see what we find, and, uh, just talk a little bit about the history of this place. Anyways, that being said, I'll, I'll give you the old pan around where I am right now and uh, we'll see you next time, okay? Bye for now. Thanks for watching.